Rosie entered our lives two years ago. She was starving, she didn't have a mom, and she was about two weeks old. My sisters and I, we've been rescuing cats our entire life. We're headed to Sausalito, California to go kayaking. We try to take the pack everywhere we go. This is Lilo, and then this is Infinity. We call her Finny for short, and that's Rosie in there. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> Not very often do we have cats. Have you had a cat? Never. Love the life jackets. So we're gonna pass by the old marine railways. And then we're gonna come out and pass the Harbor Seal haul out and then head on back. A girl. Oh my. We can't see Finny. <laughs> That's a dog that's used to kayaking right there. Lilo and Rosie need to be together on the same boat, otherwise she starts to freak out. Rosie in particular, when she came to us, she was weak, lethargic. She wasn't drinking milk. We would wake up every two hours to try to get her to feed. She was getting thin and more frail. She took a turn for the worse overnight. Lilo seemed interested in her. She was dying and Lilo was available. So we put them together not knowing what would happen and Lilo decided that she wanted to help her and mother her. We were, we were so surprised. After a few hours of cuddling, we decided, okay, maybe she's ready for milk. And lo and behold, she started drinking milk. Lilo just stayed by her side the entire time, wouldn't even get up to eat. She feels the wind and she's like, oh, I like this. <laughs> so what we saw when they were first getting closer is a lot of patience on Lilo's part. Lilo would just be so gentle with her. Lilo was essentially Rosie's mother and she saved her life. Because we rescue kittens so often, we cannot keep them. The rule is we nurse them back to health, we find them a good home. That's exactly what we were planning to do with Rosie. We were going to find her a home. Their bond would not allow us to separate them. So we, we had to adopt Rosie. Good girl. Ooh. Lilo and Rosie's very first adventure was we were leashing up to go to the park and Rosie just wanted to come along because Rosie goes with Lilo everywhere. We decided to just see what happens. And she did walk. She followed Lilo. And it became a, a new normal for us. We go to the park a lot. We love hiking. We go on road trips. We swim in our pool together and we love going on walks together. They really have a zest for adventure. As Rosie grew up, Lilo became her mentor and taught her what it's like to be outside and how to go on adventures and how to be brave. Rosie's all grown up. She's much more independent from Lilo and Lilo's still kind of holding on to that motherhood. So Lilo will clean her. Rosie will just have to tolerate it, but she still needs Lilo there sometimes to support her. Lilo would help Rosie be more outgoing. Rosie's <laughs> calm personality helps Lilo be calm. Yeah, they help each other be who they are. <laughs> oh my. I got her, I got her, I got her. Can you get him? I, she okay, liked it for okay. the most part. Except maybe falling in. I don't know if she liked that part. She was totally fine and she went back to looking around. She keeps coming back for more. I think they all have fallen in. I have fallen in. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Bless Rosie, have a good time. <laughs> Not gonna like a month. Yeah. Okay, I have work, but. So you 
you can do the night one. Yeah, I come home at seven anyways. We take in kittens every year when it's kitten season. We nurse them back to health and we find them homes. So this is Ferrero. This is Hershey, Nestle, Pocky, and Dove. And together they're called a box of chocolate. We had a few kittens last year. One in particular, his name was Magic, and Rosie kind of served as his protector. Similar to how Lilo serves as Rosie's mentor and protector. So we would take him out on walks. Magic has been adopted. Now Magic and his parents go on adventures. Because Lilo raised Rosie, sometimes she thinks she's a dog. Rosie knows high five, high ten, bang. We think she's smarter than most. She might be smarter than Lilo. <laughs> we never could have predicted the outcome of that night. Lilo decided to help her. I don't think they see a lot of each other's differences. They just accept one another. They can teach people a lot about how differences can make you stronger and how friendship doesn't have to be with people who are similar. This day and age, their relationship teaches us a lot. There was a pony locked up for a long time and he needed us to take him That's the first day Polly ever had good care. Good things were beginning to happen.